Judy Dench, 87, was much loved for her portrayal of M in eight James Bond films. She's since been replaced by Ray Fiennes in the iconic film saga. However, the star did share her thoughts when asked about who the next Bond should be played by. Speaking in the latest edition of Saga magazine, the acting legend was quizzed about if the role should be played by a woman. This comes after Daniel Craig appeared for the final time in the role last year. When asked about potential casting, Judy replied, as things go, that's fine. But then should you call it by Ian Fleming? Who knows? The Oscar winner also admitted she would not have wanted to play the super spy herself. Asked if she would have taken on the role, she replied, certainly not. I haven't got the energy to do all that jumping off the roof and onto motorbikes. Elsewhere, in her chat with Saga magazine, she admitted she didn't mind being replaced by Ralph. Judy added, I don't mind hearing someone else in the role. They said I cried when I stopped being M, I didn't I'd done it eight times, it was high time someone else had a go. The conversation about who will be the next Bond has been heating up since No Time to Die was released. The producers have been dropping hints as fans place their bets. Barbara Broccoli, who produces the films with her brother Michael G. Wilson, recently addressed rumors as well. Speaking on Deadline's Crew Call podcast yesterday she admitted one favorite Idris Elba was part of the conversation. She explained, well, we know Idris, we're friends with him, and has a magnificent actor. And, you know, it's been part of the conversation, but it's always difficult to have the conversation when you have someone in the seat. I think we have decided that until No Time to Die has had its run and Daniel has been able to, well, we've all been able to savor, reap the benefits of Daniel's wonderful tenure, we're not gonna think about or talk about anybody else, actors to play the role or storylines. We just want to live in the moment. You can read Judy's full interview in the latest edition of Saga magazine, which is out this weekend.